There are two types of individuals in the world, winners and losers. I'm Tyrone Bowman. It's now time for inspirational, motivational teaching. As an inspirational, motivational teacher, I have but one goal, objective, and desire, simply put. That is to inspire and to motivate men and women around the world irregardless of race, color, creed, sexual, gender, ethnicity, political parties. It doesn't matter with me. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, or where you come from. Every individual deserves to be able to achieve their goals, dreams, and pursuits in this life. There are too many individuals who are listening to a negative thinking, speaking, acting, and doing people are saying to them in their lives. They're always telling you what you can't do. They're always telling you what you can't be. They're always telling you what you can't achieve. So now I want to tell you, and this is the topic, do it anyway. Despite the fact that individuals may not believe in what you're doing, do it anyway. Despite the fact that you might come from broken household or dysfunctional family, as an inspirational, motivational teacher, I have vigorously studied the lives of thousands of successful men and women. The vast majority of them came from dire poverty. They came from circumstances and situations that were horrendous, and it seemed like everything, everyone, and everybody was against them. But there is something that they had. They had a made-up mind to uh, excel, to achieve. They had a made-up mind to want to be somebody. All you need in life to start out with is a made-up mind. If your mind is made up to do the wrong things, you can be successful in doing what is wrong. Why not reverse it? Allow your mind to be made up to doing what is right in life, and you will become successful in doing what is right. You don't need to have name recognition. You don't need to come from a certain uh, financial status. You don't need to have uh, financial prominence in this life in order to succeed. What you need is a will, a strong will. No one told me I could become an inspirational, motivational teacher. I did it anyway. When individuals told me that it was impossible, I didn't listen to them. And you don't have to listen to them either. I will tell you this much, and I'll briefly say this because it's not about me. It's about me inspiring and motivating each and every one of you to achieve your goals and success in life. In the words of the late Reverend Ike, you can be what you want to be, you can do what you want to do, and you can have what you want to have. It's entirely up to you. You are not other people's opinions. Remember that. Stop asking for someone else's opinion. Stop asking people what they think about you. Do it anyway, even though you may be full of fear. Do it anyway, even though you may come from a dysfunctional family or a broken home. Do it anyway even though it may seem like you'll never achieve your goal. Yes, you're going to fail many times before you succeed, but that is no indication that it's not meant to be. How many times have I heard individuals say, well, if it didn't work out, then it wasn't meant to be. That is not true. It's meant to be. That's why there's such uh, opposition and perseverance and objection against you succeeding because it's meant for you to succeed. The question is, what do you desire to be, to do, and to have? What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your aspirations in life? What status in life do you want to arise to? If you're willing to do things legally, ethically, and morally, you can succeed. Many years ago, in a prior life, I was a pastor for quite some time. Not of a very large church, but it was a prosperous and growing church. Then one day, it all fell apart. Why? 
because of scandalous, vicious untruths. And I had to undergo a psychological thing within my mind to decide what direction I was going to go through in life and how I could best serve individuals. I'm no longer a pastor. I don't have a desire to be a pastor anymore. What I do have a desire to do is to serve God and humanity and to help as many men and women as I possibly can. In addition to being an inspirational, motivational teacher, I'm also a broadcaster, an engineer, a producer, a commentator. So there are many things that I've been gifted to do. And the one thing that I know, if you continue to listen to people telling you what you cannot do, you are not going to do it. If you continue to look at your circumstances where you are in life right now, you're not going to achieve. Do it anyway. Against all odds, do it anyway. Against the name saying, speaking people, do it anyway. Despite the fact that no one may believe in your invention, no one may believe in your gift, your talent, or your ability. No one may see you for the individual that you are. But if you will introspectively go deep down on the inside of your mind and begin to envision the good that you can have, the wealth that you can have, the success that you can have. What is it that you desire to be? The choice is yours. Your destiny is in your hands. Stop telling yourself that you cannot do it. God in you will do mighty things through you, but you have to be willing to persevere through the darkness, persevere through the heartache and pain, Persevere through the heartfelt rejection. Do it anyway. And one day, you are going to be in the winner's circle of life. Or whatever plateau you choose to excel on. Never surrender. Never quit.